Okay, today we're going to be talking about division with scientific notation. Everybody in class really loved it, so I thought you would want me to make a video of it. So that's what I'm doing. So division with scientific notation, it can be a little tricky. So let's take a look at a, a more difficult type of problem that there is out there. So we have, let's say, 2.17 times 10 to the negative 5. And let's go ahead and divide that by 3.17. 9 times 10 to the negative 2. Nice and difficult problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to take these two and we're going to divide them. Well, step one for a division problem with scientific notations is we divide the coefficients. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Make sure that you set it up correctly. It's, this is 2.17 divided by 3.09. So that is the first step here. 2.17 divided by 3.09. However, we have a decimal out here. We cannot divide by a decimal on the outside. So what we do is we move it over so it's no longer a decimal. So we move it over two spaces. However, if we move it over two spaces on the outside, we have to move it over two decimal points on the inside. So now we have to rewrite these. And this is 217. And this is 309. Now we are ready to start our division problem. Well, does 309 go into 2? Absolutely not. I hope nobody said no out there. I hope nobody said yes out there. And does 309 go into 21? Again, absolutely not. Does 309 go into 217? Again, no, it does not. So we have three zeros there, decimal point here, decimal point here, which is good because we knew we had to have a number that was less than 1 because we were dividing a smaller number by a bigger number. And so we knew our answer had to be less than 1, so that's good. It's so far matching up. So now we have to figure out, well, how many times does 309 go into 2,170? Well, let's go over to the side and do some mental math over here. Well, just looking at it, I'm going to try to guess 6. I have no idea. I haven't done this problem before. I just wrote it up on the board. So I'm going to try 6. Well, 9 times 6 is 54, so put the 4 down there, carry it. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is 5, and then 6 times 3 is 18. So now you take a look at this and you think to yourself, can I fit in another 309 without going over the 2,170? And again, <laughs> I really don't know, so we're going to take a look. Let's take a look and try 309 times 7 and see what we get. Well, 9 times 7, that is 63. 9 times 7 is 63, not 1 something. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Whew. Very close, but it does go in there, 2,163. So it does go in there, it goes in there 7 times. 7 times 309. Well, we just did that math over there. No need to go and do it again. It is right there. 2,163. We go ahead and we subtract this out. And we get 7. 0, bring it down. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, well, how many decimal places should you go? Well, if you look at these numbers right here, they, always, they have 3 in them. So we should probably go 3 decimal places. So let's go ahead and do that. 309 goes into 70 zero times. That's a nice and easy one. So 0 times 309 is 0. 70 minus 0 is 70. And then we bring down another 0. Well, how many times does 309 go into 700? Well, 309 goes into 700 two times. So we have 0 0.702. So I'm going to stop going with the division. Obviously, I could continue if I wanted to. But I'm going to stop that right now. 0.702. So step one was, step one, let me go ahead and clear all this. Forgot my answer, 0 0.702. 0 0.702, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all that. So step one was to divide those two. We just did that. We got 0 0.702 as our answer. So that was step one. Step 2 says that we subtract the exponents because we're dividing here. They have the same base of 10, 
So what can we do with the exponents? We subtract the exponents. So we take that negative 5 and we subtract negative 2. So negative 5 minus negative 2. Let's take a look at what that would be. We're going to do something called keep change change. We're going to keep the first sign the same. We're going to change that subtraction sign to an addition sign. And then we're going to change that negative 2. We're going to go ahead and change that to positive 2. So now we have negative 5 plus 2. Well, let's think of it in terms of money. If you lose $5, you're down $5. But then you get two of them back. Now you're only going to be down how much? You're only going to be down $3. 5 minus 2 is 3, the bigger number is 5, so it's the negative, so we take the negative with it. So it's negative 3, or you could just think about it in terms of money, everybody loves money, unfortunately I wish I had more, but I don't. So I always talk in terms of money. So let's go ahead and put that, so we know that our exponent is now going to be negative 3, so times 10 to the negative 3. So, so far we are just about done, that is step 2. However, step three says, we check and we look at that coefficient. If that coefficient is less than one, then we have to move it over. And unfortunately in this problem, 0 0.702 is less than one. So we have to move that decimal place over one to make sure that it's a number, number between one and 10. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move that decimal place over one. So now we have 7.02. Well. Since we moved it over one, we have to make sure that we're not really changing the answer. We're just changing the way it looks. So we still have to have the same number. So if we move it over one, we have to make sure that we subtract one to the exponent. So negative three minus one, do not say negative two, please. It is not negative two. Negative three minus one, think about it in money. If you lose three dollars and then you lose another dollar, how many dollars are you down? You are down four dollars. Again, do not say negative 2. I know that's what you were thinking, and you're wrong. And if you didn't, good job. Okay, so 7.02 times 10 to the negative 4. Now, technically, these are the same answers. So, but this one is going to be our correct answer because it is written in proper scientific notation. How do we know that it's written in proper scientific notation? Let's check the three things. Is this a number between 1 and 10? Absolutely. 7.02 is a number between 1 and 10. Do we have a base of 10? Absolutely. We have a base of 10, and then we have an exponent. We are good. This is proper scientific notation, and this has been a lesson on division with scientific notation.